the game uh, with the Mavericks and the Thunder going head to head here. We see the Thunder lane nine and a half, the total two thirty seven. Now, for those of you that watched the last show, um, I said that you guys should keep an eye on the Warriors and the Mavericks game last night and and see if the Mavericks won the game first and then second, as long as it wasn't a blowout. I was hoping for I was hoping for like overtime just to put it over the top, but you don't need that. I just needed the starters to play at least a regular amount of minutes. Now, I said that the, I, I said to grab Oklahoma City right as soon as that game was ended, and because the number would shoot up, and I believe it opened at six. Uh, definitely, I definitely saw six and a half. So, and I don't know where you're seeing nine and a half, but I've seen I've seen ten already. Um, so, it, it stayed there for for a little while, and as soon as that game was open, it shot up. Now, Dallas will be on their second game of a back-to-back, third game in four nights, fourth game in six nights. Oklahoma City will be getting Jalen Williams back, maybe their second most important player to the team, definitely their third if you want to give Chet um, second most important. Um, SGA will be looking to further separate himself from Luka and MVP voting in a nationally televised game on TNT. The Thunder will also be looking for revenge after losing um, by 35 points in the absolute beatdown the last time they faced Dallas. They'll also be looking to bounce back after a loss to the Pacers. This will be OKC's fourth straight home game, so there's a good spot for them. And I could only look towards the Thunder in a bounce back spot with revenge, motivation, and a rest advantage. All right, Joseph, let's get his best bets over at TonySpace.com. Mavericks and Thunder here. Uh, look for, and do your line shop. And, of course, as we film here, the, some of these lines have just opened. This game, you know, finished about, about a few hours ago. Uh, so we see 9.5. There are some 10.5s out there. There is some news on Doncic. He did leave that game late, if you had watched it, uh, reported of hamstring soreness. So he left the game late, did not return. So keep an eye there. Hamstring soreness for Doncic will be probably likely questionable heading into this game. Thunder here laying the nine and a half. All right. Uh, I, that's, sorry, Tom. I wouldn't yeah. be surprised if they sit Luca because this is almost like a scheduling just loss. Like chalk it up. Like you know how sometimes just chalk up certain spots where they're like we just we'll just you know get get the players right for for the next week or whatever. I I just don't think the that the Mavericks are even going to be able to compete in this game. So and maybe they just go ahead and sit him. And we've seen some ugly losses by the Mavericks without Luka in the lineup. I know there's been some pretty ugly losses they suffered. Yeah, I'd be shocked if this is single digits. All right, uh, Thunder here laying the nine and a half. All right, Joseph, let's take a look over at Tony'sPicks.com here for the card on a Thursday. Uh, Six-game card here uh, from... Uh, the NBA also a lot of conference tournaments action here on this on a busy Thursday in college hoops. Again, unit leader for Tony Smith is Joseph Schultz of 2023 and 2024. When you do the math, add them together, 5,547 units of profit the last 14 and a half uh, months. I, on these multi capper sites that uh, document plays, I don't think you're going to see anybody better than this, to be honest with you. Joseph, what do you have going over at the site? Yeah, man, I, I I live this stuff, you know. Almost twenty. If I'm not sleeping, I'm I'm watching games, I'm researching, I'm studying, I'm staying ahead of the schedule. That's how I came up with that Oklahoma City play. I was already looking towards it, so I'll be already on even tomorrow's games after a little bit of sleep here. But um, I'm gonna have my favorite play for just fifteen dollars. Gonna be out of the NBA. I already know what it is. Um, and I'm going to have at least a three pack from the NBA. I don't, I can't guarantee a five pack, but at least a strong three pack. And it may even have some college plays for tomorrow. Now there's always a three day packs, the week, the month and the year long, um, for extra value for those who, you know, wager all year long. That's right, guys. Get over Joseph Huss over at Tony'sPicks.com. Uh, flash the numbers again for you right now. Over the past two years, combined 5,547 units of profit, all documented over at Tony'sPicks.com. 
go to uh, Joseph Handicapper page, click the link in the description, it'll land you right on this page right here. And here you'll be able to scroll and see the numbers here. We've actually have the uh, last two years right next to each other. Do the math, you can see it. You can see the, the, the performance here from Joseph and outstanding. As you scroll down, you'll find his plays. We'll have some one day passes up there. Are these in the long term passes? The way Joseph's running, you may consider the long term pass. Uh, one month pass will get you all of the NCAA tournament as well as NBA, probably taking you to the play in round right now into. Uh, April uh, 13th. That'll be right near the start of the playing round. So no better time to get that one month pass. Also, two weeks of baseball in there as the U.S. opening day is March 28th, coming very close. Uh, I hope better news for Cole. <laughs> we got that coming in today. <laughs> Indeed. So uh, uh, get on board here with the just shows over at TonySpace.com. That promo code Tony T at checkout will save that 20% off. You can access Joseph's picks by clicking the link in the description. Click the All Cappers tab. Get signed up, all right, Joseph. I know uh, a Yankee fan. What's your thoughts going into the season? I'm nervous for the news. <laughs> Be honest with you. Yeah. 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 Gotta We're going to hit plenty home runs, but we need some pitching. Yeah, if Snell's still out there. Story. Right. I know. That might we put might the pressure. Him. That might put the pressure to get Snell, right? Right. Right. He's still out there, too. And I expect some regression from him because he, oh, my God, he just performed over his head last year. But even um, 80% of what he was last year, we'll take that. That's right. That's right. No doubt about that. Plus, they'll have hitting behind him uh, if he gets right. if he gets over there, right? <laughs> that lineup in that short right. that short porch there in, in right field there for those uh, Yankee hitters. So yeah. we'll, we'll see. You may, yeah. You're going gonna to make it some of the games this year? Oh yeah, definitely. I like to catch at least one. Probably go to a, probably go to a few this year. Yeah, very good. All right, uh, as you guys go ahead and get signed up with Joseph Schultz, we a little bit of baseball talk. It's coming up. It's coming up here in a couple of weeks. Two weeks away, right? Three, fourteen, twenty-eight. That's two weeks. Two weeks from today is the U.S. Opening Day, uh, and I know the Dodgers close out. There. I love it. You love it, right? <laughs> I love this time of year. But yep. Besides the beginning of of the NFL, this is my favorite time in sports. Absolutely. Very exciting time right now with opening day. I know the Dodgers close out their spring training today because they have to go to Korea to play the Padres. They'll have a, a, a preseason game on, on a Saturday and then, boom, ready to go start the season on the 20th and 21st. All right, guys. And that's going to do it for our, our NBA rundown. Get signed up with Joseph's Plays. We mentioned that 30-day pass. So if you want to try them out, there's a 3, 7, or 30-day pass as well as a 1-year. So get signed up. Don't forget that promo code Tony T at checkout to save that 20% off. All right, that's our NBA rundown. For Joseph, I'm Tony. We're back again tomorrow with another rundown.